we think of our world as filled with stuff. Like buildings and cars, buses and people. And nowhere does that seem more apparent than in a crowded city like New York. Yet, all around the stuff that makes up our everyday world is something just as important, but far more mysterious. The space in which all this stuff exists. To get a feel for what I'm talking about, let's stop for a moment and imagine. What if you took all this stuff away? I mean all of it. The people. The cars and buildings. And not just the stuff here on Earth, but the Earth itself. What if you took away all the planets, stars, and galaxies? And not just the big stuff, but tiny things down to the very last atoms of gas and dust. What if you took it all away? What would be left? Most of us would say nothing, and we'd be right. But strangely, we'd also be wrong. What's left is empty space, and as it turns out, empty space is not nothing. It's something. Something with hidden characteristics as real as all the stuff in our everyday lives. In fact, space is so real, it can bend. Space can twist. And it can ripple. So real that empty space itself helps shape everything in the world around us and forms the very fabric of the cosmos. Well, you can't understand anything about the world unless you understand space, because that's the world. The world's space, with stuff in it. We're not usually very conscious of space. But then again, I tell people, fish are probably not conscious of water either. They're in it all the time. Space is not really nothing. It actually has a lot going on inside. When most of us picture space, we think of outer space, a place that's far, far away. But space is actually everywhere. You could say it's the most abundant thing in the universe. Even the tiniest of things, like atoms, the basic ingredient in you and me and everything else we see in the world around us, even they are almost entirely empty space. In fact, if you removed all the space inside all the atoms, making up the stone, glass, and steel of the Empire State Building, you'd be left with a little lump about the size of a grain of rice, but weighing hundreds of millions of pounds. The rest is only empty space. But what exactly is space? I can show you a picture of Spain, of Napoleon, of my Uncle Harold. But space, it looks like this, nothing. So, how do you make sense of something that looks like nothing? Why is this space rather than no space? Why is space three-dimensional? Why is space big? We have a lot of room to move around in. How come it's not tiny? Um, we have no consensus about these things. What is space? We actually still don't really know. It is one of the deepest mysteries in physics.